Hey everybody, I'm back. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Jossie. Peace, love, Jossie. I'm back. I'm making videos. New year, new me. Who it is? Hey, listen. 2020 been rough. We'll be out here. Welcome to 2021. Um, I'm so excited to be filming again. Took a little hiatus. Not intentionally. Initially, it was because my lens broke. Um, and then I ended up getting a new one. It's not really an autofocus lens like my other lens. So hopefully everything is good and I can use all the footage that I am recording because Lord knows. We are back today with the review. I'm really excited about. I had gotten, um, I'm signed up for this program with this company called Influencer, which basically has a whole bunch of brands. Um, use them as kind of like the middleman for people to review their products. So today I'm really excited about this one brand called Shiseido. I had to look up how to say it. But they gave us a primer and a um and a foundation to try so the primer comes in this box the foundation comes in this box the primer is called the shiseido synchro skin soft blurring primer it smooths and blurs helps visibly reduce the appearance of pores reduces shine weightless silky smooth texture and essentially just says smooth evenly over your face after your skincare routine to prepare skin for makeup and apply with fingertips. So that's what the box looks like. And then the product packaging looks like this. Let's see. Yeah, it's really stained it little primer packaging. And then the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. And it also has a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen included and it says oil free this just claims to lift your skin with light adjusting radiance shiseido light adjusting technology instantly adapts in response to every light source to smooth and diffuse fine lines and create a luminous lifted effect on the skin all day wear weightless comfort radiant finish medium to full buildable coverage as far as like if you wanted to use this as like SPF, it says to make sure you apply liberally every 15 minutes before sun exposure. I'm sorry, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Reapply at least every two hours. I'm really excited about trying this because I've never tried anything from this brand before. Shiseido and it's a Japanese based brand and I'm really excited about trying it. I can't keep saying that enough. Um, so this is what the bottle of foundation looks like. Again, I'm in the color. Well, the color they sent me is Henna 530. Um, but I hope it's the right color. It looks like it is. It looks pretty good. I tried a little bit of a swatch. It looks like it did oxidize a little bit. So we'll see. It has like a little twist cap feature. So if you have it in this, it doesn't go down, but if you twist it, it will unlock for you. And that's about it. So I'm just gonna apply. I already did my skincare routine. So I'm gonna try the primer first and then we're gonna just Beat it up, beat it up. I'm planning just to kind of do my regular foundation routine and then that way I can kind of let y'all know how I feel about it as like compared to the other ones I use. I usually use a Smashbox foundation and also um, Too Faced are some of like my main two ones that I have been using recently. So basically I'll do that and then I'll put like a concealer on top of them under eye and just to brighten that under eye and that's about it so and a little bit of powder or something but i really don't be using powder that much because i really don't use 
foundation as frequently as some would only on like when I'm going somewhere special outside of work because the job that I have does not require me to put on makeup and stuff like that so I just be you know going with the flow but I am really really interested to see how this works so I'm gonna just go ahead and get the primer going it just said to use your fingers so that's what I'm gonna do just so y'all can see the texture Does anybody else have mask me problems? Like, I never had really a problem with acne. But right here, it's like every week a new bump come in. So the old bump go away, the new one come in. And that's what's creating this big old thing, y'all. Help me. But it's not going on this side. But I am thinking it has to be wearing a mask all the time or something because I've never had this problem before. Like, I've had like one bump come and then it go away and that'll create a scar. Like, you know, over here it'll be spaced out. This little cluster just keeps coming. So, um, Corona, stupid robo. Okay, so now to shake well, shake well before you. So I'm gonna just put it on my back of my hand so y'all can see. be enough but like I said it's a buildable so we should be good I'm gonna just use a foundation brush to apply it giving me real chocolate okay real melanin real and it's good so that's me but I think like I said once I use my concealer to brighten under my eye and we got it just make sure it's blended really well until it looks like it is what y'all think Oh my god. Um, basically, like on the app, they sent me like a picture. It's like a whole bunch of things they'll ask you if you're interested in trying this, 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 and this. So you can say yes, no, opt in, opt out. And with this on the color, I'll try to insert the picture that they gave us. So you basically just got to do your best trying to match yourself on the screen or whatever. So this is the color that I picked based on the picture that they showed me and I think it's pretty good it's a pretty good match and I just need to add a little dimension on my face with my concealer my under eye and stuff No makeup artist, we, we know that. Okay, we just gonna go ahead and say that <laughs> we ain't no makeup artist around here, but we but we do we do this, we get the makeup done. Okay, so y'all can always share techniques, but just get it done for me. Okay? Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm like, I'm liking this. I'm really feeling this. Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at y'all because. My ghetto camera don't have no screen where I can just look. So I look in the mirror. I'm looking at the mirror to put my makeup on. I'm looking in the mirror to check 
the camera to make sure it's in focus. Then I'm looking at y'all. So I'm sorry, you know, but we just trying to get you the little review. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing, you know, too much around here. We just trying to get it done. Make my hairline not be looking like what the. Okay. All right, that's how your girl do her little, little pop pop, okay? That's how we do the little pop pop. So, first first impressions, I'm really feeling this. It's definitely, you know, I don't really care about my little bumps down here, but I did real good covering that up. And I don't usually be concealing or nothing because I ain't trying to be perfect. I'm just trying, you know, Get in where I fit in, you know. I'm not really trying to do no whole lot, okay. So we all know we ain't perfect. We all know we got mask me out here in the in the row row, row row giving us mask me. So I'm not trying to hide none of that for real. I'm just trying to be popping, accentuate, not eliminate, okay. We good, we good over here. So you can still see that popping through a little bit, but we human, so we gonna let that ride. That's it. Unless I'm doing like some pictures or something. I ain't worried about it. Y'all know skin is skin. Okay? So this how we looking. This how we rocking. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. I hope y'all feeling it too. Like I said, 530 henna is my color. Okay. So since this is just a video for this foundation that I'm loving so far, I'm going to just finish my makeup off camera. Y'all so I did my whole face. Just something simple, a little simple contour, eyeliner, mascara, no false lashes, but you know, and I also tried to work with these eyebrows the best I could, because they definitely need to be trimmed down. But all in all, as far as the products go, I really do like them so far. As far as the primer, so far, it's really good. Like, it definitely, I definitely feel like my skin texture is good as far as like, some foundations they'll look cakey or if you apply a little bit of powder to it it'll look caked up it's not the case like it seems like a really good base um the pound the foundation <laughs> the foundation and the primer together are a really good a really good mix so i really do like them um i know you can see a little bit of texture coming through like you know that's just that's just skin but it really gives a really good, a really good um, base, I believe. As far as on me, I really do think that I could do this, uh, you know, as a, make this one of my main staples in my routine. I really do think that, I do think that it's good enough for everyday wear so far. Um, what else? As far as like the SPF feature, I definitely need to do better with like SPF care and sunscreen. I don't go outside that much, but when I do, I usually don't put on SPF unless it's like included in my moisturizer that I'm using. Because, I don't know, I think it's like, as black people, <laughs> as a black person, like I wasn't raised to like care about like SPF. So as I'm getting older, I do feel like it is something that I need to include in my routine, but it usually doesn't sway me to like purchase something, if that makes sense. But the fact that it has it is good for people like me who don't typically, you know, reach for SPF. Um, it's cool to have, but it does give you a lot of things like, you know, updating it every two hours and stuff like that. Probably wouldn't do, do all that because I don't. So, but it's a good feature for someone who's interested and to be cute and get in a little protection. Win win, right? So, get in. So, y'all can see how we looking. Close up. <laughs> Probably too close. It's the closest I can get to y'all, you know, through the camera because we, with this pandemic, we ain't got time to be too close. But, hey, I, I don't know. We can be close via camera, okay? So, yeah, that's how we looking up close. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I really appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna be trying to be consistent all 2021. So hopefully I will not be leaving y'all again like I did previously. So, um, 
And yeah, this channel is gonna be everything from encouragement to beauty and lifestyle, giving y'all more reviews like this. Um, if y'all see anything that y'all want me to review, let me know. Be products that I can buy or things that, um, but I'm definitely probably gonna be doing a lot more videos of the things that influencers send me just because they're usually new products that just come out and y'all might want to know if they're popping or not and so i think that'll be a good way to let y'all know um follow me on instagram at peace love Jossy. um if y'all use any other shiseido products that y'all love please put them in the comments below so i can try them out because i'm really feeling this and i'm really grateful for influencer like i said they ain't paying me to say this but it is really a good Good, good thing that they're doing because I love to try new things and the fact that I can try new things for free just for leaving my review on either their website or on wherever they're selling it like Sephora or just on the influence their app like this is more than you know it's more than a great compensation because it's free and all I gotta do is tell y'all how I really feel it's great so that's what I be doing um, and that's how I got this product and I really, really, like I said, really, really like it. I just keep looking at myself like, mm -hmm. I'll see you. Mm -hmm.